does moments when you go AFK for like 3 minutes and uh, someone takes your spot at Rory. And look who it is as well. Damn it, yoga -san. why you be crashing me? Anyways, I've been doing this for quite a while now, like killing the ascension creatures. I think I'm at 10k kill count now, so I've done like 4000 kill count in the past 2 days, I think. And we have like 67 keys now. So we have a bit to go through, but it's actually not that many that I needed. I mean, the Quintus one I needed, so I'm going to put them there. I needed the Secundus ones, and I needed the Sextus ones. So these are the ones that I really need, and I'm actually going to do them first. So let's see if we can get anything cool. From the few Secundus keys that I did have, we didn't get anything, but the last drop was a Quintus key. I didn't even know that, I just saw a beam, but room play bodies, that's some good money, because I am super poor. No joke, I have 63k right now. I do have some alkyballs in the bank, sure, but not that many, like maybe 1 million maximum, so room play bodies, not too bad. I do have more sexless keys in the bank, but just saying now, 94 defense, I've been getting so much defense experience from just killing all these warriors, it's, it's great, it's absolutely amazing. But um, yeah, I couldn't bring that many sexless keys because I kind of need food for this, well, turns out I didn't really need that much food, but anyways, I did bring it so I didn't lose any keys, but I'm going to start doing the Quintus ones now, and as I got one extra, we will have to do some kills. Well, unfortunately, that is all the keys completed that I needed the signets from, and I didn't get any, but I still have a decent amount of keys in the bank, but you know what, I'm just not going to do them now, because even if I get a signet for it, I'm probably not going to make the second crossbow, even if I get to that point anyways. So, yeah, I don't know, we will have to see what I'll do with that, but... For now, we're done with the keys. I didn't get any signets, unfortunately. But hey, we got some awesome supplies anyways, I'm happy. So it's currently the spider minion path open, and it is uh, pretty annoying. I hate it, to be honest. But anyways, let's see what we get for the first loot. Please be something good. Actually, magic seeds? Not too bad. I'm going to have to use them when I get 75 farming anyway, so I'll definitely take that as a first drop. Alright, second kill. Can we get a leg piece this time? And we cannot, but we get 47 lancer dimes. Bank that shit. You know what they say, third time's the charm, so let's get something good. Oh my god, I just got baited! I just got baited! I thought I got a leg piece and I got battle staves. Actually, this is not too bad, I think. If I make these into battle staves and then alloc them, that's actually not that bad money, so... It's not that bad. It is indeed a new day now, so we have another reset on the Enrage. So let's see what we get for the first loot. Please don't be as shitty as loot. And it's... Pretty shitty. I mean, I got happy last time I got magic seed, but I have a bunch of magic seeds. I checked in the bank, I have like 60 of them, so I really don't need more of them. I actually do think the leg piece drop rate is like 1 in 40, and I think the hilt piece, aka like the eye, the fang, and the web is like 1 in 100, or 1 in 120. I can't actually remember, but I'm going to show you the kill count I have right now. I have 32 now with this one, and uh, that means in 8 more kills I should have technically got a leg piece. Like, that's the drop rate, right? So let's see if we can get it now. And I get baited again. Come on, man. And there we go with the third kill, we have one more kill to do for today, so let's see what we get from this one, and we get- Oh, two Sirenic Scales! Wait, I might actually have enough to make the Sirenic Helm now. I think I actually do, that's going to be so good. I can replace my Carol's Coif with a T90. I'm going to head over to the bank and check if that's actually true. I had 13 before I got those, and now with those two I have 15, and I need 14 to make the helmet, and I still need one of these Algarum threads, and they do cost 500k from this guy, I do think, so let's see if that's actually true. Not enough gold. Yeah, 500k, and the thing is I have 13k cash, which is kind of a problem, but I did have two Onyxes in the bank from an Araxo drop, and my Amulet of Souls and Death Touch bracelet is not going to really have to be recharged for a very long time, so I'm just going to alloc one of these and that we should get the money that I needed. Yes, I wish to continue. There we go. 1 million and 80k. Let's just buy the thread real quick here. Buy one of those. Yeah, confirm that. And now we can make the helmet and we can replace the Carol's Coy. This is going to be absolutely amazing. Like, look at this. Wow. We now have a Sirenic item. How much better is this? So, this is 435 armor. This is 297, and obviously I did this one does not have any prey bonus, not any power stats or anything, not range bonus or anything. So that is pretty crazy. I now have a tier 90 helmet. I am really happy with that. On a 9 minute kill on the top path of Araxor, it took 0.3% charge off my Sirenic mask. That is absolutely amazing. Let's see what the last loot of the day is, and we get- oh my- and it has to end off with a Dwarfweed seed. Actually, blue, door, uh, blue charms, not too bad. I was about to say blue dwarf with seeds, but 
Blue charms kind of need them because I'm getting, I think I have banked pretty close to 96 summoning, but I just need the money for it, so it's not too bad to get charms. It has indeed been a while since we did clue scrolls and I thought I have a really low amount of cash so a good way of getting some money is through Slayer and that's also obviously a good source of clue scrolls. So we have the first hard clue scroll here from an Iron Dragon task. Fun thing, I actually got this on the first drop of the first Iron Dragon that I killed. Let's see what we get from this one. And we get some mediocre stuff, uh, but we can reroll this one so let's do that real quick and get... Oh, a Gothic's page! That's actually a really good... Drop. That's. I'm really happy with that. That's a good clue. Let's see if I have that page. If I do not, that is really awesome. I don't think I have that many Guthix pages. I, I rarely see them. Let's see if we have any. We have one, and that's Guthix page one. So we now have one and two. Sweet. Honestly, this is the most hilarious thing ever. I got an Aviancy task, which I really did want. But look what I get, like, literally the... Th I think it was the third kill. After I make my Cyrenic Helm, I get an Armadillo Helm. I would have loved this, like, four hours ago, honestly. What the fuck? But it's still a drop that I didn't have, so I'm happy with that. No complaints here. I just got a long bone from the kill after that. I think that's, like, 1 in 1,000 drop rate. Interesting. What the hell, man? Like, I get the helmet, and then I get the long bone, and then after that, I get an armadillo buckler. Now, the thing is, I already have a buckler. Wait, do I have a buckler? I'm not sure if I have a buckler, I can't remember, but I think I got one in the video like two videos ago or something. But the thing is, this is not bad because I can use this for invention for some really, really good supplies, like um, components, whatever they're called. Uh, because this goes for like 2.5 million in the GE on normal accounts, so I know it has to be worth something. Alright, at this point this is getting ridiculous, uh, we get another armadillo helmet, and uh, well, we get a hard clue scroll as well, so I'll definitely take that, but if I get a third armadillo helmet, I don't know, should I like delete my barrels die or something? I'm not gonna do that ever, I really wanna keep that for like a noxious item, but yeah, that's, an, that's a second armadillo helmet, I'll, I'll take that for armadillo components I guess. Alright Jagex, what kind of prank are you doing on me right now, like, come on, armadillo chain skirt, like... Everyone from my friend chat already hates me, and people from my friend ch friend list already hates me, like... Can you stop giving me stuff? Because at this point, soon everyone from my clan is also going to hate me for getting all this luck. An armadillo chain skirt. Pretty much the only thing I need now is the gloves and the chest, and I have every single drop that this boss can give me. And uh, previously I did not have two of these, so... That's interesting. Oh yes, and another drop I still need from that boss is the Armadillo Hilt, but I really don't mind that I didn't get it. Obviously, I was super lucky on that trip. I don't think I've ever had a trip that lucky ever in God Wars Dungeon. I, I don't know, maybe I've had one. Anyways, this is going to be the end of the hard clue that I got from that trip, and we get an awful reward. I mean, it's fitting, but always has to be 69. Always! Th fuck this game, man! I know the Slayer part of this and like the clue scrolls and stuff like that wasn't a big part of it even though I kind of wanted it to be, but the thing is, Araxus reset and I have a new sharpshooter aura and due to all this armadillo luck I was like, maybe we can continue this luck streak with getting a leg piece, so let's see if we can do that today. And the first drop is not a leg piece, but I have like 5 Saradomi flasks in the bank still, so not too bad. Can we maybe have one on the second one then? No, we cannot. I actually hit 95 defense on that kill, but this is going to be the last one for the trip because I do not have any rock tails or any cavefish left in the bank, and doing this with only sharks or like a ton of Saradomian brews doesn't really feel worth it because if I do die, which is very likely honestly, it's going to be a lot of supplies wasted. So let's see what we get for the third and last kill. We get some uh, U logs, not very good. Oh, and by the way, I'm still doing farming, so no need to worry, guys. 67 farming, getting there. Oh, these. Currently, I have 38 kill counts, so I'm going to be doing 3 kills now. This is the first one, so I'm going to actually hit the drop rate of an actual leg piece during this. So, can we please get one? And the first drop is even more magic seeds. You know what I know? You know what I said about magic seeds. Kill number 2, let's see what we get for this one. And we get some money. Nothing interesting. Alright, there we go, that is kill number 3 of the trip, and it's going to be the last one as well. So we have 40 kill count no now on our Raxi. So let's see if we can get anything good for this small milestone kill count, I guess. And we get a good drop, actually. Two Sarenic scales, I, I will be needing them anyways for the full Sarenic set in the future. Um, Overload flask, not too bad, actually. So let's bank that and be happy with the Raxor for now. 
But anyways, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And by the way, I want to talk a bit about divination. This is going to be quick, so don't worry, guys. But I just want to say I have been training it, and I really do want to get it to 75, because that is the last requirement for Fate of the Gods that I need. And after that, I'll still be training it to 80, slowly getting there because of invention. Now, I'm still doing the farming runs, like the tree runs. I've been slacking a bit on the herb runs, but I guess I'll get back to it soon enough. Uh, but the thing is... When I do AFK things, I usually AFK cavefish like I'm doing now, because doing a Raxor with cavefish is just way better than doing it with sharks. It's actually a huge difference, you can really notice it. I can't really explain why, but if you do the fight yourself, you really do notice it on your food supplies and everything. So uh, that's why I'm doing this most of the time when I'm like AFKing. Um, but the times that I feel like I have enough cavefish to do like the three kills of the day or like for the next three days, then I do some divination for like one or two hours and in that time I can get like 25 30,000 experience which is not a lot but if you think about it it's like three hours of a very hardcore AFK in divination and I get half a level so it takes me pretty much six hours to get one divination level yeah it's really really slow honestly and I should be doing the caches or catch cash I don't know what the hell it's called you guys can correct me but I still can't pronounce it I'm sorry uh, but you know what I'm talking about the, the thing every third hour I've just it's I'm not on a schedule I can't really keep track of it whenever it's up when I do divination like AFK it I just do it and I do the 100 points but um, yeah it's it's really hard for me to keep track of that but I'll, I'll be training divination casually all the time and hopefully we can get to 75 sooner than later but um, yeah, I'm still training it, just to let you guys know, and uh, as soon as I hit 75, I will be doing Fate of the Gods quest, and I should soon also start getting into some more questing for Wild Gothic Sleeps. But anyways, for this episode, it was awesome to get the tier 90 helmet, as well as all that amazing luck at Armadil, and maybe in the future, the near future, we can get a leg piece or even a heal drop from our Axor, so... Let's look forward to that, hopefully it does happen soon, and uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, please leave a like if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one guys, take care.